this entire weekend, all in all, from the um, the whatnot stream on Friday, I think it was, um, was 26 orders or 17 orders. And then just eBay sales alone is gonna be, I think it's around 120. So all in all, uh, 150 packages to ship from basically Friday morning up until now or up until we start generating labels it averaged at about 1900 in sales a day maybe a little less there's probably a little more I can show the whole actual breakdown once we're actually at the warehouse all right so 99 orders so All right, while we let all this generate and go through the entire thing and show us the damage, um, we will unload everything that is in the truck and then we will go from there. But we have to generate all this and then store it. Everything is literally everywhere right now because we just did a massive buy. So this is the death pile, which is full of, I mean, you can see there's just a wall of consoles. Right now we're at Four hundred dollars and climbing. All right, all of these are processed, and I'm pretty sure all these are already listed. But we have to take the consoles and match them with the cords that we bundled them with. Put them in the bin, write the serial number, and then store it. And you can see there's like the GameCube cords, the PS1 cords, PS4, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, and do that for every single one of these ones. Back to what we were actually doing. We're at $533 in total shipping. All right, just went through the dimensions, did weight. We're at, I'm gonna be honest, I don't even remember where we were at before, but now we're at 556. So now I have to go through and actually choose the cheaper options, add signature, add insurance, whatever. So we'll do that now. 481 from, uh, 481 is the total for all the orders. There's a little bit of FedEx or UPS. Obviously, those will always be cheaper for the heavier things. Like we have the huge bundle, lot of three, well, not huge bundle, but a lot of three backwards paddle for parts sold for like 200, I think, for the set of three of them. All right, pulled everything. Here is absolutely everything from the first 100, because obviously you can only print up to 100 labels on eBay at a time. All the orders pulled. Usually I don't do it like this, but I was gonna do it like this for the video. That way I didn't have to continuously record me running back and forth. So this is everything from one to 100. We have the rest of the orders here and a little bit there. So all this stuff is already sold. We'll pop up the prices like I mentioned up on the screen here as we go through it all. And, um, and yeah, so you guys can get a little more insight of what sells for what, what sells good and any knowledge that I have that might be beneficial all right, first order. This was an auction at 99 cent, no reserve. I couldn't tell if this seal was authentic, so I threw it up because usually the line that you see here usually goes ta on the top part. Um, the security seal is all on there, but I didn't know if it was a real seal, so I threw it up there for 99 cents at a no reserve auction and it sold for 68 bucks. I will always preach bundling items. This is a lot of six Call of Duty games. It is uh, World, of, World of War, Call of Duty 3, BL1, Ghost, MW3, and COD 4 Modern Warfare. A lot of six. Disc only sold for 31 bucks. Always, always bundle your Just Dances. It's good to even bundle these with Wii consoles, uh, Halos with Halos, Call of Duties with Call of Duties. It just will always bring a bigger premium. Like for example, later in the video, we have the bundle of MX versus ATV games. Always easy sale. Pokemon Ruby, always. Pokemon games are always easy ones. For the people that are worried about selling non-authentic games or Pokemon games on eBay, always just look for the little chip in the top left. You can see right here. They can't reproduce those. That is the number one way to tell. And obviously you can see the, the numbers on the front right to the right of the end on the Pokemon. We'll tell if it's real or not. But this sold for $76. The next one is a large lot. At the time of when we had this listed, we listed a ton of Wii consoles. Like we had like 36 individual Wii consoles. These are all GameCube compatible. The main way to tell is you can open the flap. The GameCube ports will be on the top. Lot of eight sold for $265, like $33 a Wii. 
Another really solid one, a lot of four. There's always the same buyers that usually end up purchasing these bulk that just sell them back on Amazon. A lot of four uh, North American release. New Super Mario Bros. for the Wii sold for 107. So we usually price these at $29.99, I think, and complete copies at like $34.99 just because people will pay $29.99 for the disc only. So easy 170 bucks for the lot of four. This was purchased a quite a long time ago it is the hotel signature satin 800 thread count sheet uh the queen size in the pearl blue these the kirkland signatures sheets like from costco sell for crazy money obviously you're not really going to find these in the wild brand new uh, yard sales and stuff but for whatever reason you see hotel signature satin or kirkland signature sheets i mean even used it's still pretty good money this one sold for 65 dollars, and that was on best offer accepted Next is this crazy copy, crazy mint copy of uh, Sonic R for the Sega Saturn. This was picked up and an auction in Washington, D.C. in Virginia, I'm pretty sure I want to say. I think it sells on average for about 145 We sold ours for 185 just because of how nice it is. Super, super clean. Like, no scratches at all. This thing sold for 185 Smaller sale, but... Pokemon Raichu from the... I don't really know. I don't really know. I'm not too good with the TCG. Again, we mainly do video games, but smaller sale. Sold for 17 bucks again. Every single one of these things adds up, guys. I understand, and I'm not seeing, you know, multiple $100, you know, $100, $100, $100 sales. I mean, just that stack alone, that's, I believe, $200 in sales. There's... That's... Actually, that's not true because those are the Japanese Mario Karts. But you guys get the point. All of this stuff here is $4,500, five grand in sales from over the weekend. So it's okay to list stuff like this as long as it will actually move. Um, obviously, if you're listing stuff that's $15 and it's sitting for a year, two years, it obviously wasn't a good buy to begin with. Another good example. Here's a lot of three... First generation uh, iPod Nanos for stuff that doesn't sell for good money. Put it together, price it either a little higher or a little lower, depending on what you're into it at, and it will sell. Somebody will come by and resell it themselves, uh, even if it's for parts. Like, for example, those lot of threes, I could have put all three of those PlayStation 3s individually up um, on their own and then paid. $15 shipping, $15 shipping, $15 shipping on each and every single one. Or I could sell all three of them. They're going to New York. The label for FedEx was like 12 bucks. So I saved, technically saved 20-ish dollars just throwing them all up there. And I could charge more of a premium because when people are buying consoles for parts, they want to repair multiple consoles to take parts from this one to put in that one and this one to go into that one and this one to go into that one and so on. We got a PlayStation 3 Slim. Sold for 116. Comes with the AV, the power cord, and the charging cable and the controller. Controller's missing the right analog rubber, which I don't really understand how that happens, and it's still in really decent shape. But sold for 116. I just wanted to show how we do pack these orders. A lot of these boxes that we get are from Walmart. They're the 15 by 12 by 10s. They work for most consoles the super slim and the slim being one of them we'll double wrap uh, bubble wrap going vertical and then horizontal on the console and then we'll take these bubble wrap those shove them in here packing paper obviously i know majority of you guys know how to pack but for those that don't you know this is a good way to do it or it's a good way to utilize these boxes they're only like a dollar and eight cents so pretty cheap for just buying individually and not having it purchased as wholesale boxes all right first large santa sack is full all grand advantage slash first class whatever the fuck you want to call it all gone uh we have let's see how much left we have left for the first 100 orders so not too much probably three dozen stuff left 35 things left and this is all from the second lot of like 20 20 orders ridiculously easy to lose a ipod shuffle fourth generation the purple we just listed it as um pink slash purple in the model 1373 so for 26.95 tested working really easy to test all you need is a little audio jack and the usb on the end sold for 31 dollars and 45 cents uh this is usually games like this in this condition you can see how nice the label is 
games like this in this condition or the Mario Karts like in the good condition or the Tony Hawk Pro Skater in good condition sell to one buyer. Like I was mentioning earlier in the video, they just go straight to Amazon. Next would be the F-Zero GX sold for 53 bucks, 95 cents, disc only, obviously. I think complete, this is like a 75, $80 game. Um, when we do ship our disc only, we like to, instead, if we don't have any of the random like really filler games that we don't bundle, uh, we'll take a piece of cardboard and sandwich it in between that and then put it in the poly mailer and that's pretty much it that way we can reuse all the cardboard that ends up getting thrown away it just makes it a lot more easier got the xbox one creeper with the really really awesome back i think the inside of it is a gunpowder yeah really really cool this one sold for 61 dollars. these like limited edition controllers always do really really well especially if they're in good shape and they have the back like the minecraft pig one has the pig's tail on the back always sell for really good money the call of duty advanced warfare ones especially if you have international shipping on people will buy them internationally and pay 35 plus shipping just for the controller x-men legend one and two bundle uh the x-men legend oh jeez, the x-men legends one uh manual is damaged nope i lied x-men legends 2 manual is damaged you can kind of see it's literally just the front cover and we put the the disc is in this little white sleeve white sleeves should always have the discs inside when shipping games that are complete in the box like i said earlier so the discs doesn't come out and, and wobble around the case especially gamecube games because they're a little more fragile they're smaller they're there's a lot more room for the disc to move around in the case all right, and the last order out of the 100 is the brand new WADA um, 9.4B+. Plus. I actually bought this on eBay a while ago, but sold for... I took a best offer for 100. I know I'm into it for way less than that, so might as well move it. Especially because it's a B+, plus, nothing crazy. This is the last of the 100+, plus, and then we have to finish those, obviously. But this is an international. When shipping international, guys, obviously make sure that the shipping is on the buyer because you don't want to get stuck shipping to Brazil. Um, and then it's 35 bucks to ship a six ounce game. And always, for the most part, I've always shipped with eBay International label because if, for example, the package gets lost internationally, which shipping from the United States, the East Coast, or the West Coast, and shipping to, you know, Brazil, Germany, it's pretty common for these packages to get lost. So eBay will protect you if your package gets lost as long as they actually see that you've shipped it. If it doesn't even get scanned into the USPS, obviously they're not going to help you out. But if it gets scanned in, it's actually going through the the consolation centers, I'm pretty sure is what it's called. And they see that it's on its way and it actually is getting lost because shipping internationally takes forever. Um, we've shipped out things that like, we shipped out in July, mid July, and it still hasn't been delivered. So it just takes forever, but ship with eBay international shipping. That way you guys can get covered as a seller. I know we don't have a crazy amount of seller protection, but that is one thing that is really solid from eBay when shipping international. All right, we've been at the warehouse for way longer than I thought we would. It's already 2.07. The post office closes at 5. Um, traffic going back to the post office is probably going to take an hour. So we have to finish these next 31 packages ridiculously fast. So I'm going to try and go really quick. Obviously, for you, it's going to be about a minute because this is YouTube. For me, it's probably going to be an hour. So we'll finish it. Hopefully, you guys are seeing the whole gist and getting the idea once we get used to doing these videos we'll obviously have it to where it's a little more it makes more sense for you guys um, but it being the first video you know there's only so much that we can do so 151 dollars and 72 cents for the last group of 31 orders which are all on the table and in this bin so we will finish that so I can actually get to the post office because we still have to list, which I haven't even talked about yet. I still list 60 to 100 things a day and it's already two. So we have a lot of work to catch up on. All right, fast forward, like, what is it? 3.30 now, we are leaving the warehouse. Finally, we've been here forever. We shipped whatnot, we shipped eBay. So 160 total items. I'm just trying to make sure that I haven't forgot anything, but 160 total items totaling about with whatnot, like $6,500. So 
that's it guys i mean we'll be doing some videos almost every probably other day because we ship every other day so once we get into a schedule and get the timing down then you guys will know when and what we're selling some things to look out for we'll do tips and tricks as corny as that is um over time that you'll learn whether you're a video game reseller or not of better things to be picking up on as a reseller full-time or part-time so make sure you guys subscribe and uh, i really appreciate you guys watching all the i have no idea how long this video is but thank you guys